So the rebel turrets that LEGO releases in the official Hoth-related sets always look kind of weird, right? Like the body is so thin while the head is so wide. I don't know, they always look like some kind of mushroom with a cannon to me. So I thought, I'll just make my own. And that's what I ended up with, a very simple rebel turret design. Like it's nothing special, but I still think that it's recognizable enough and you don't really need any uncommon pieces for this. Yeah, of course it looks a bit rough all around, like the anti-studs here in the corners are not ideal and uh, the proportions are not 100% correct I guess, but that wasn't really my goal anyway. I mean, I, at least I get the height right, you know? Uh, about two minifigs, or like four meters maybe. Uh, but yeah, I was going for simple to build and cheap to acquire. And when you design with that in mind, you have to make some sort of sacrifices in terms of looks and details. But I guess that it gets the overall rebel aesthetics right, so though um, a bit more roundness would have been right, I suppose. Like if you were to put a more cubic head on this thing, it will kind of look like a miniature turbo laser. And yeah, uh, leave corners and pointy bits to the Empire and let the rebels have their round and bubbly shapes. So, so I guess you could try and use slope tiles all around, but you would probably have to find a different way to get the upwards angle right. Or just skip angling this thing completely and just go with a regular cylindrical shape. As long as it's bigger in diameter than the official LEGO one, I guess it's alright. And by the way, I'll uh, release a build tutorial tomorrow as a short video. I mean the shorts format is perfect for quick tutorials and you won't have to listen to me ramble and can just look at how this thing is built on its own. So stay tuned. But anyway. Even though this thing is technically a mock on its own, I like to think of it as a mock element or add-on. Like, you're gonna build a rebel themed diorama or something, maybe a base or some, some trenches, and you need additional structures to spice it up. A little turret like this is perfect for that. I mean, you can easily integrate it into your builds. And uh, the best thing is, since it doesn't use that many big pieces, or maybe except the, the dish piece on top, you can do whatever color scheme you like because you can just mix it up. It's, it's it bricks and, and plates, you can you know, do whatever you like. Like uh, with this one, I tried making some sort of, uh, of a desert Tatooine camouflage. And uh, oh, it's also a good opportunity to show off uh, an alternative build for the roof. Like if you, if you don't have those di dish pieces or don't want to use them, uh, both work uh, perfectly fine. And uh, if you want uh, the rotating part of the turret to be a bit wider, no problem either. You just add another 1x4 plate um, on both opposite sides here and uh, maybe a 1x6 plate at the back and then you just adjust uh, the slopes so that everything uh, lines up and yeah, you're done. Uh, Alright, that's it for the video already. Um, I hope that you had fun and that it could inspire you a bit. So uh, yeah. Um, Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss anything that's coming up. Uh, leave a comment if you have feedback or questions or uh, suggestions or whatever, really. I, uh, I just like hearing or reading from you. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye.